So in this one, what I'm going to do is just quickly run through setting up the compositor in Blender and connecting back up our images. So we can just easily make adjustments to the color of the different layers, etc. Okay, so let's get started. From here then we can come up and switch this to a compositor layout. So I'm going to select compositing and to start off. You'll want to check use nodes, click backdrop, and I'm just going to move this compositor up here. I'm just going to select the render layers and just control shift click and that will just give us a viewer node. Now for this, make sure that you have the, the node wrangler add-on enabled. So it is this one here, put a check mark, save your settings. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just add in the images. Now we have our different render layers here. I'm going to come up here and just add in. You can press T for the tool shelf. I'm going to add in an image. I'm going to shift D and just duplicate that. So we have the background on top. For the next one, it's going to be the house. So I'm just going to click open. I'm going to come to my folder, double click on the house. I'm going to do the same thing then for the grass one here. Click open. And again, in my folder, I'm just going to click grass. Now we need to combine these. So I'm just going to drag these over here. For this, I'm going to come down to color and click alpha over. So I'm just going to add this to where the composite line is. I'm going to shift D, add another one. You can plug in the house one into here. Also, what you can do if you zoom in, you can shift click and shift click the one you want to add it into and shift F and that will just connect those for you. Okay, I think that's kind of a cool way of doing it. So shift click, shift click. Shift F and that connects nicely. You can see that the HDR is what we're viewing, it has the viewer node. So we just need to connect this up here. Now, always make sure that the compositor has a node connection from the last one or you won't get it to render. So if you're having an issue rendering, always check that the compositor is plugged into your last node in your setup. Okay, I'm just going to move that up here and just press A. I'm just going to box select these, press G and drag them over here, press SX0, just tidy them up a little bit. Same with these two. Shift select them, SX0. And you can press G. If you want to zoom in or out, you can press V to zoom out and Alt V to zoom back in. So what you might want to do is make some adjustments to your background. So you can add whatever you want, really. You can add a curve map and you can adjust that color. So you have control over just the HDR. The same thing for the, for the grass down here, if you want to adjust the curves, maybe give it a brighter green or whatever. And obviously the same thing for the middle layer or the house layer or whatever number of layers that you've, you've created. Just remember that it's back to front, so the, the background image begins up here, your house image and then the foreground or whatever you have down here is the grass layer. Okay, so that's just a simple setup for compositing in Blender. And when you're ready and you want to render out your finished image, just make sure, like I said, your composite node is connected to the last node in the group. I'm going to come over here. Similar to rendering out an image, my render settings are set up. The very same resolution I had initially when I created these images. It's going to be a PNG and I'm going to hit render. Okay, and when that's done, you can see we have our composited image and all I need to do is go file, save as image. And I can just give this a name in the folder. I'm going to call this render and save as image. Okay, and that's going to do it for this one.